Hello everyone, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. So, last time I ended up getting pretty goddamn pissed off because, <laughs> um, I found out that the reason that I was lagging in the skate park and the fire station is because of the, uh, wetness VFX. And basically what that does is it allows you to have a little, you know, it allows you to, um, have a little trail of water where you spray your power washer. And I was pretty goddamn pissed off because it was, like, making me lag the whole time until I turned it off. Is that really the kind of bike that someone owns? But... Honestly, I do feel really bad about it. I, I really do. Because I know that... I mean... <sighs> I didn't know, I didn't know that's what was causing the lag. I thought maybe it was just something wrong, something with how big the the area was. Like, like, the bigger the area, the more it took the clean. But I think what might have happened is, it shows, the, it shows like, this invisible detail of where my water sprayer has gone. And because it was everywhere, it lagged like crazy. Turning it all off made it so that it wasn't going to be registered and therefore not lag. Came a crapper on the old bicycle. Seems an element of rust may have crept in and seized up the ruddy, ruddy stop locks. Give the old boy a quick swish, and there's a tiny threepenny bit in it for you. I don't know half of what you just said, but I'll clean it. <laughs> also, I have my rubber bands in, so I may sound a bit weird. I, I tend to forget to put them in at times. I tend to forget to put my bands in sometimes. Well, you weren't kidding about the rust. Also, real quick. I really want to know what this professional duty thing is going to be. Also, I know that last time my, uh... I, I unplugged my headphones and there was no sound afterward. That, that was my own fault. Yep. Definitely full of rust. So you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Not that. Do we not have rust cleaner? I shall buy some. Oh. Never mind. Derp. Okay, so that's mostly for cleaning dirt. Good to, okay, yeah, good to know, good to know. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more calmer than I was last episode. I'm just really disappointed that for the last few levels, it was lagging so badly. And I, I, I couldn't even try, I couldn't even retry the level. I tried, I tried to see if I could leave, but it already saved my progress. So I was, I was stuck at 90, like 91 or 99 percent. But you know what? I guess it's fate that not every playthrough goes without hiccups. And for the most part, you guys have been seeing really, really smooth gameplay. It's just in a couple of, uh, couple of rough patches where you haven't. Okay, well... I can definitely see that this isn't, this isn't gonna be like a 20 second job. That's what I mean when I say I really appreciate what this game does. It turns even the smallest of objects into a real challenge to clean in a, in a, like, kind of, in a certain way. In this case, it's rust. Definitely rust.
You know what? I think I know what this needs. That's more like it. It's surprising it's surprisingly hard to clean with this nozzle. I think the reason why is because the cursor disappears after I start using the washer. That might be it. Bingo banga bongo. You know, I gotta say, it's actually really cool that it's that I get to see this being something someone actually uses. Because, like, these are, like, from, what? Over a hundred years ago? Maybe? Maybe some people in, in the country still... In, in the world still use these. In other countries. Handlebars and seats. And the frame. Okay, what what part of the frame? Oh, that one. What a tremendous job! He's come out an absolute dream. If he didn't if he didn't ride so beautifully, I'd flog him to a museum. Yeah, it took a bit of figuring out there. I like how you know what I just realized. It shows how the thing gets cleaned up. Even though with the with the ching and a flash, the entire thing gets cleaned eventually when I come close to cleaning it. Uh, well, different parts of it anyway. That's cool though. That's really cool. So like, if you're if I was cleaning the wheel, and it did that flashy thing and it showed that it was instantly really clean, this replay still shows um how it got clean outside of the flashing part. That's cool. Clean Grandpa Miller's car. Hello, Doc. I hope you're as good with cars as you are with houses, because I've got my old wagon out of the garage, and it's dirtier than, a, dirtier than a Dung Beetle's Christmas list. It still turns over fine, but I'm not taking Dolores out for a spin till it's gleaming as she is. Thanks, Len Leonard. Uh, buddy, I think you've got- I think you've got caps lock on. <laughs> little, uh, little tech- little texting note, if you didn't know. Caps lock tends to translate to yelling. Your ad here. Huh. What, is this like a... Is this like a race car? Cool. You might find the odd streaky line where Bert tried to clean it with his power washer. Dribble washer, more like. <laughs> well, you won't be saying the same thing about my power washer, but... In you won't be saying the same about mine. Sorry, I kind of woke up, so my commentary's kind of bleh. I, I mean, I woke up like a little a little while ago. By Gemini, that's right. I used to race this beast all over. It's got a grunt like an angry rhino. Heck, I won the 1999 Race of Champions in it. That's cool. That's cool. So I, I'm like, I'm like cleaning up a, I'm cleaning up a race car. That's, that's actually really cool. And here it is, just parked casually in someone's driveway. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a motorhead myself. And I'm not like, I'm not like, you know, a racing junkie. 
but I can still say that's pretty damn cool. Honestly, I'm not too disappointed that I have to turn off the washing VFX because... Hey, dirt! <laughs> Honestly, because, um, you know, I I'm not really too dis disappointed because it's just a little trail that your washer leads when you spray it. That's not really something I can't, that's not really something I can't li I can't live without. What? What in the world are you doing, sir? Get lost, would you? What in the world are you talking about? I don't know what is going on with him, but it's kind of hilarious. Hey, Derek, what? Get lost with... Oh! He's like doing a little roleplay thing. I get it. He he's trying to be like the dirt because I'm 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 removing it. I get it. I get it. It's like it's like that thing you do where you try to act, uh, try to like you, you know what I you you all know what what I'm trying to say here. Like it's it's that thing you do where it's like yeah I can't explain it. So this car, judging by the your ad here, uh, uh, your ad here sticker or whatever that is, that is, I, I feel like this car it definitely would have been uh, it, it definitely could have uh, qualified for um, <laughs> you guys know what the, you guys know what this is, right? This is a joke based on the Shell gas station in real life. I fucking love it. I love it. But this could have this car could have qualified for advertisement, I imagine. Which is probably why it's got so many advertising stickers all over it. How long will you be? I was thinking of taking the car for a tear up down. Th Oy vey. That's on you, buddy. That's not on me. Actually, I should probably do that for the tires. Atta boy, Alloy. I didn't mean to use that one, but that works. So, for little, for smaller for smaller area spots like this, I can use the very the pinpoint accurate washer. I mean, this one isn't, isn't exactly pinpoint accurate, but I still like to use it because I feel like I'm covering more area. Although I do know that the only areas I'm hitting are the areas where the water is actually landing. The, I don't think the stream actually cleans it along. Al I don't think the stream of water leading to where it's hitting, it's going to clean everything up along the way. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, then, uh... God damn, this thing really does look valuable. Not that I'd steal it, though. I'm just saying it looks valuable. But, um... Like, this stream, this stream of water... Um... The stream itself... Isn't exactly gonna make it like a clean path through a, a through a bunch of dirt and grime, but the but where the water is actually hitting will. So 
I guess it's mostly for pinpoint accuracy and not making long streaks of cleanness. Although for very sm uh, for for smaller um, spots like this, it definitely works. You know what I just realized? Man. Yeah! Of course, I'll turn shadows off if it gets to be too much, if it, like, does a huge number on the FPS. But, you know, 30 FPS can be turned into 60. I had a word with Lenny, and he's certainly not going to be tearing it up down the sewer system. We're sticking to Main Street for now. Thank God. Although, don't worry, I did tell him that it was on him if he decided to do that, and it wasn't any- it wasn't on me. You know what? You know what else I'd like to talk about? The fact that there's there seems to be other power washers around here, but the people who mention them, it sounds like they weren't exactly as reliable as I am. Which makes me wonder why. Do they just not take it as seriously as I do? Because if not, that's kind of douchey. Power washing ain't no joke. Power washing is a very, very serious job. I don't know why, I suddenly feel very comfortable using this. And I think the reason why is because there, it's mostly small, uh, small areas that I can clean. Dirty oil. I think the point of this is that it kind of, of course it kind of wiggles around more, and I think it kind of gets a, li a small, slightly smaller radius, while still managing to be a very thin stream. So I gotta say I'm loving how well built this power washer really is. B2R. Does that stand for back to racing? You know, it makes you wonder, is NASCAR is NASCAR still going on nowadays? I haven't heard that I haven't heard that talked about in friggin' years. Oh, that's actually part of the, uh, Wash Targets. That'd be kind of a cool name. That'd be kind of a cool name for my company, Wash Targets. Or may maybe if not cool, it'd definitely be an option.
see how powerful this thing can be? A lot, a lot it's, I mean, it does make sense, it's a, it's a more powerful stream than the other, than the other three. This one, this one, and this one. Seeing as how I don't have any, uh, any new, uh, power washers to unlock, it might be a good idea for me to see what I can buy, uh, for equipment. Anything missing? Oh yeah, the rear number plate. And... Wait for it. Boom. Doc, the car looks so fresh. You are a soda pastor. <laughs> a soda pastor. <laughs> I cannot wait to see old Bird Station when we in Dolores Street past his front yard and see what a power washing pro can do. Job well done. I like how it actually captures the moment I turned on the settings too, like the shadows. Alright, I'm actually going to end this episode, but first I'm going to go ahead and buy some, uh, new equipment. I mean, the soap nozzle isn't entirely useless, so... Let's see... Well, it still might be wise to, uh... You know what? Screw it. That works. Alright, until next time everyone. In the next episode. Well. Actually, could I be able to get them some time? You know what, screw it. Let's, let's find out. F.A. We're currently down at Awkward Falls. About to risk life and limb because someone thinks they saw the mayor's cat licking its paw under the waterfall. It's gotta stop and I've had a brainwave. Bring the old truck out from the garage, give it a clean up, and send the recruits out on that wild goose chase while the rest of us get on with the proper jobs. All the proper jobs. It's hella filthy, but if you can do your thing and make it sparkling, the mayor will never tell the difference. Thanks, pal. You know what? Let's go for this. I mean, why not? It's not that big. And hey, we're back at that fire, we're back at that fire station that pissed me off last time. Okay, um. This is all the cleaning liqu liquids. We're gonna go with metal. Let's see how well this, actually I should probably give this a good hosing down first.
You know, there's a theory that the, that the cat's not really missing. Really? Why would that be? That the mayor's using as a distraction de device so that no one notices all that pipeline stuff. Pipeline stuff? What pipeline stuff? So let's see what this does. Holy snot. Holy crap. This thing is am this stuff is amazing. Now don't now don't get me wrong. I already know that I have to use it on the correct material, but I didn't think it would be this effective. Hey, there's a smiley face. I really didn't think it would be th this effective. Hey bud, do you know the mayor's cat's still missing? I'm up at the volcano, I think I see him on the outer rim. I'm going in for a closer look. Don't fall in! Oh, I, li I just realized it literally tells me how much of, uh, how many liters I have of this stuff left. <laughs> Fire derp. <laughs> I love it. Fire derp. Ha! Holy! Oh goddamn! I didn't get to read that. Holy something fire department. You know, I feel bad for even doubting the use of this nozzle. This is actually really, really effective. I should probably buy it. I should probably buy a, a bit more. Nope. Wrong thing. Nope. Hey, Doc. We have a lovely little job for you up at the house and you're free. No weird stuff. Promise. I mean, I didn't find the house- I didn't find the Esther house to be all that weird. But okay, I'll-, I'll It's definitely Ulysses. I can see his funny leg. Why would 
a cat hang out 10 feet from a lava flow, though? It wouldn't. It's probably another dead animal. I guess it's like... You know what? That honestly makes sense. Cats do like warmth. But, uh... Is a cat... Is the mayor's cat really that dim-witted? Because, for those of you who don't realize, lava flows aren't hot because of their molten lava. They're also hot because of the, the, the intense heat they generate. So I don't know if all that is good for a very furry and flamma flammable cat. That's just me, though. That's just me. Okay, I'm, I'm within I'm within a, uh, I'm within a whisker of Ulysses now. We're up on a south crop, and Mount Rushless is rumbling more than ever. Oh, it, okay. Mount Rushless is actually the volcano. Okay. I've always been a dog man, and now I know why. Because it's a dog. Hey, wait. If Mount Rustless is is getting very rumbly, what is that going to mean for the festival? Are we in danger of a volcanic eruption? Because that doesn't sound good. Starting to run out of leaders. What do you mean I'm out of metal cleaner? Didn't I buy some? I bought glass cleaner. I'm a moron. <laughs> I like how the metal cleaner is somehow effectively cleaning the stains off the glass. Like, how does that even make sense? Glass isn't metal. 
That'd be cool, though. Imagine a, imagine being able to use a metal glass. That's probably already a thing, actually. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, yes. Ah, here we go. Oh, here we go. Handle, hose, and windscreen wiper. I don't know if I can handle the task. <laughs> uh, okay, where is the, uh, where's the hose? Okay. Now where the hell's the hose? Oh. Okay. Now for the handle. Oh jeez, what is going on with the... <laughs> there we go. F.A., you're a legend. That is absolutely pristine. Even the rust's gone. That should get the mayor off our backs for a while, which means we can all get back to doing the jobs we or paid for. Thanks, pal. No problem. <sighs> Alright. Until next time, everyone. In the next episode of Power Wash Simulator. I, I think next up, we have... Oh, recreation vehicle, and then treehouse. We're gonna do the recreation vehicle next. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, and I'll see you all next time.